Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at the effect of auxin on phototropism. Let's get right to it. If you'd like to get your hands on these set of notes, please check the description on how you can do that. First, let's look at phototropism. Phototropism is a type of tropism. Tropism is a growth response in plants. And phototropism is the response to the light stimulus. And so, when light hit the shoot tip, what happens is, first of all, auxin will move away from the light. If you look at this picture, light is coming from this side and the auxin is all moving away from it. So auxin will be on the opposite side, that is the shaded side. And what does auxin do in the shoot tip? Auxin promotes cell elongation. It causes cell to elongate. Remember the four zones of growth, we have zone of cell division and then just below that we have zone of cell elongation. So auxin promotes cell elongation. Now when elongation only happens at a high rate on one side of the shoot tip, what's going to happen is this side will become longer compared to this side. And the overall effect of that is it causes the shoot tip to bend towards the side without auxin. So this is how it bends towards the light initially. After that, remember that light is still in this direction and then the auxin will move away from the light which means auxin from here is going to start moving away from the light around here. So now what's going to happen is this part is going to experience cell elongation at a high rate and now it's going to continue to grow exactly in this direction towards the light. So this is the general effect. Let's look at some experiments to see what happens in various scenarios. So the first one is the control. You just have the normal coleoptile. What is going to happen here is exactly what we saw in the picture earlier. When light hits this side, all the auxin gathers on the other side. It's going to bend towards the light. And that is what we see here. The coleoptile bends towards the light. When we look at the second one, the coleoptile has a cut tip. The tip is removed. What is the significance of the tip? The tip is where auxin is produced. So if we remove auxin altogether, there won't be any cell elongation. There will be no change. Nothing will happen. And what happens when we put an opaque cap? An opaque cap does not allow light to go in. Therefore, if we look through this, the auxin is still evenly distributed here because it is not exposed to light it does not move anywhere so the auxin distribution is even all over the coleoptile tip and so what's going to happen is cell elongation is going to happen at a high rate at all points of the tip of the coleoptile and therefore it will grow straight up now what happens when we have a transparent tip this is a transparent cap and now light can go through the cap and the same thing is going to happen again because light can go through auxin is going to run away from light to the other side cause higher rate of cell elongation on this side and therefore cause to bend it causes the coleoptile tip to bend towards the light and that's exactly what's going to happen it's going to grow towards the light again what happens when we cover the coleoptile base with an opaque cap? The base is not where auxin is produced. Auxin is still produced here. And it is still exposed to light here. And so what's going to happen is all the auxin is going to move away from light to the shaded region. There's going to be cell elongation at a higher rate on the shaded region. And this is going to cause this side to grow at a higher rate compared to the side that's exposed to light. And the overall effect is the shoot is going to bend towards light again. That's exactly what happens. It bends towards the light. What happens when you cut the coleoptile tip and then you place an agar block on the coleoptile and then you replace the tip on top? So remember, auxin is produced at the tip. Now what's going to happen here is the auxin is going to diffuse through the agar 
Remember that auxin is a chemical, it's a hormone, it's a phytohormone, a plant hormone. The hormone, being a chemical, is able to diffuse through the agar. When it is exposed to light, once again, auxin is going to go away from the light and so it will diffuse downwards here. And now, what's going to happen? Same thing, cell elongation at a higher rate compared to the side receiving light, it's going to bend towards the light. And that's exactly what happens here. The next scenario, we have a piece of mica that is separating the coleoptile tip from the rest of the coleoptile. Now, mica is not able to dissolve the hormone. It is not going to be able to transfer the hormone down. So what's going to happen is, all the auxin that is produced here, when light shines on this side, the auxin once again will move away from the light, so it will go to the other side. But it doesn't reach the zone of cell elongation. And so what's going to happen is nothing. Absolutely nothing will happen. There is no change. Because the auxin does not reach the zone of cell elongation, there will be no cell elongation. So the overall effect of auxin on phototropism in the shoot of the plant is that it causes the plant to grow towards the light stimulus. And therefore it causes positive phototropism in shoots. That's it for this video guys. I hope you've learned something. If you did, please do help me by hitting that like button. It really does help a lot. Thank you very much for doing that. If you like videos like this, do subscribe. I'll be producing at least one video a week. See you guys in the next one.